Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to insert the results of store procedure into your table. So first I will show my table. This is my EMP table which contains three rows and four columns. So I have one more table called EMP target having the same schema and structure of the EMP table but I don't have any data in this table. So I want to load the data from EMP to EMP target using store procedure. So generally if you go, if you want to insert the data, we can use the insert into statement, insert into statement from insert into target table. Select star from source table. If you execute this statement, you can get the data from world table to target table. But here I want to insert using the store procedure. So first I am truncating the data. Truncate table table. Now you see you don't have any data. Now for that I am creating the store procedure. Create proc or procedure. So my procedure name is get EMP data. This is my procedure name as so between begin and end. So I am writing my logic. Select EMP ID comma EMP name comma EMP position comma EMP salary from EMP table. This is my main table. Now if you execute this one procedure has created successfully. If you want to see your procedure go to programmable T. So here the procedure name is get EMP data. Programmability and stored procedure. So here you find get EMP data. See here. Now I want to insert using this stored procedure code I want to insert the data into the table. Once again make sure that there is no data in the EMP target table. So how to insert? Just like earlier, what I have shown, insert into your target table, insert into target table. What is the target table? EMP target. EMP target. So within brackets, you have to take all these column names. Execute. EXCC. So if you want to execute the store procedure, EXCC and take this procedure name and you have to run simultaneously two, two statements. See, three rows are created. Now we check your target table. You can see the same data from EMP to EMP target. So this is how you need to insert the stored procedure results into the other table. Just you need to mention the insert into and whatever the columns you want into this target table, what are the columns and execute the post -order procedure. This is the regular process. Executing the results insert into this table in these columns accordingly. So this is how you need to write a store procedure and execute your store procedure while you want to insert into the data into any other table. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.